after two years of building an online business within my apartment, I can say that patience has definitely been my virtue. Pursuing your dreams can be a lonely journey that many don't delve into. Don't get me wrong, being an entrepreneur and a business owner is the best thing that has ever happened to me. The ability to create your own schedule, to complete tasks on your own terms, are just a few perks. But what happens when life happens and your emotions are low? How do you find balance and push through when it's just you? Everyone screams entrepreneur, leaving how taxing it could be on your body and mind. The discipline needed in order to keep a business fruitful is not the hottest topic. In a society that pushes constant approval, oftentimes individuals highlight the good but leave out the bad. This creates a sense of falsity, presenting to the world that you don't ever struggle. In making this video, I just wanna illustrate how I get things done even when I'm not feeling my absolute best. I think when you're not feeling your best, the best way to get things done is just by going with the flow and accomplishing what you can in that moment. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I got a little bit stuck. So today I figured that, I don't know, I'm not really feeling my absolute best today. But I also don't want to waste the day. So I thought I'd just vlog it and get stuff done that I need to get done that I haven't been getting done. So I made really good tikka sam tikka samala. <laughs> that is not what it's called. Tikka ma tikka samala. Tikka mas tikka masala. Tikka masala. I made really good tikka masala yesterday. I thought I'd make some more to last me two more days. So I'm just here alone today and um, yeah, I'm kind of sad. So I'm going to do a transition, I guess. Um, but I do don't want to waste the day. So I do not want to waste the day. So I'm gonna go to the store, get the ingredients I need. Let's go. Let me get a jacket, it's cold in New York, kind of, I don't know. Alright, this is my outfit check, I've never done a video like this before. Just a simplistic dress and a jacket, let's go, we don't have time for this. Oh, my nostril. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> kind of feel like I'm going to cry, but... Um, I've got all the things I needed. Okay, basmati rice. And I'm gonna start cooking. I have no energy today. This is usually not how I make videos. Usually I'm more energized, but today I just don't have it. But I can't pretend either. So, that's what you get. <sighs> I've got to move my, oh no, that's actually helping. I've got to move my bowl of fruit. A fruit a day keeps not the sadness away because I'm so fucking sad. But I guess it keeps the doctor away. so good at highlighting successes I think once you get to a certain level people just don't like to emphasize what's truly happening you know I'm constantly reminded that happiness is internal and not with external things I feel like crying but I'm probably not gonna cry YouTube is not paying me yet so I'm not going <laughs> I'm not gonna cry yet 
YouTube is not paying me to cry, so. Um, um, cue the sad music. Dun, dun, dun. What's that song? Dun, 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 dun. Who's that? Picasso? No. Picasso was a painter. Um, Beethoven. Dun, dun, dun. I don't think I'm doing it justice. Let me just play it. Cue the sad music. Be Beethoven. How do you spell Beethoven? Moonlight. That's the song I was talking about. Cue the sad music. really sad even if I don't look like I am I'm super sad today this year I'm trying to truly honor my feelings versus just like suppressing them and continuing on so just me going through the motion I'm just learning so much learning so much so quickly be in the present moment but also honor how I feel as well um, but also not allow my feelings to take over my existence if that makes sense so I would probably feel worse sulking all day which is something that I would have done in the past um, instead of kind of going through the motion of knowing that I'm sad but also accomplishing things and doing things in which um, make me happy and what makes me happy are the things in which um, I do for work for the most part <sighs> so I'm going to honour that aspect of myself I'm going to get shit done even though I feel like crap I feel like crap like I feel like I've told the universe I trust you right Let's go get a shit done because I do not want to cry right now. Let's go. Well, let me just get shit done in 10 minutes. As I lay here, I do believe that you can be absolutely miserable and still be functional. I believe that. I believe you can be absolutely miserable and still get shit done. So... I'm gonna proceed to get up. So I've just opened my computer and I've got so much to do. This is just page one. If I go to the next page, trying as a mouse. Oh my goodness. I've got another page. Craziness. I've got, okay, this is where we stop. So much to do. I kind of feel a little bit more better. A little bit. I think that's also because I took a moment and I said, what, well, three? I breathed in. I said, breathe in trust. <sighs> breathe out fear. But, I took a moment and I said, what are three things that I'm grateful for? The first thing was the fact that I walked. I went on a walk earlier and I didn't step in dog shit. That is one thing I'm very grateful for. Another thing is that I'm pushing, I'm still pushing P in 2022. <laughs> That's another thing. And then the third thing, um... I'm grateful for so much. I'm really grateful to live alone. That's really great. I'm really grateful for that. All right, so I'm up. I'm eating a granola bar. I'm about to start doing these orders. I don't want to show. It might be a violation if I show someone's address, you know? But I'm printing out all the orders that I'm going to fulfill um, and start getting them done. So much. I'm so grateful.
to still be pushing P in 2022. So great. Uh -huh. Yep, still coming. Pushing P. It's so great. It feels so good to be pushing P. Oh my goodness. Ah. Okay. I love your printer. Please be nice to me. I have to say that every time because sometimes the printer doesn't want to cooperate. Like I have time. I love your printer. Please cooperate. Hi, this is a great gift for my sister who is struggling with confidence. I'm so glad I found your business. Thank you for what you are doing. Oh, that's so kind. Oh, that's so kind. You're such a good sister. Kiara? Kiara, you're such a good sister. I have to go into the room, the skincare room. I'm going to start with these ones. It makes me a little bit emotional. <laughs> it makes me a little bit emotional. But people are kind. Because I just feel like people aren't as kind of me. Hello, welcome to my skincare room. This is where all the pee is. Push and pee. This is where all the pee is. Not pee as in piss, but pee as in product. Um, this is where it all is. It needs a little bit of organization, but we'll get there. Ooh la la. Early birthday gifts for my mum. She's turning 40. I was really happy to run across your shop. It's exactly the thing she'd love. So kind! For her mum, she got the LaBelle Smell and the Rosie Woods. This person got Rosie Woods and this person got the LaBelle Smell. So I like to do the smaller orders first and then move on to the bigger ones like this thing because there's just like a ton of different products and one order like this one right here you know versus i'm trying not to show the address versus like the one product like it just makes it a bit more easier all right i'm doing a little i'm doing a little bit much this is rosie rosie is so cute oh rosie so these orders actually have a lot of perfumes in them i mean yeah people the majority of people ordered perfumes this time so these are all the orders i've got thus far you see it you see it oh la la so usually i lay out all the orders and then i'll put the perfumes on top and stuff i mean i'll put the products on top and then go from there so that's what i'm doing picasso i like it so these are all the orders that i've laid out these ones still need to be completed we all tend to get things done when we feel like shit. You may argue and state that this is not true, but in fact it is, as our subconscious mind is always at work. Whether it be self-sabotaging or in self-support, we are always working, whether it be physical or mentally. Living the way we've lived throughout the last two years has taught me a lot, in that you really have to be so solid within yourself and your plan like you can't allow anyone to alter that. You can't allow anyone to discourage you. You've got to be your own supporter. You've got to be your best friend. You've got to be your biggest praiser when you have accomplishments. You cannot seek outside um, praise. It's just not it. Because what happens when you don't get it? Are you still going to be able to push yourself? Will you be able to be your biggest supporter the only way you're going to win in this life is if you support yourself i've learned that the hard way i've learned that the soft way i've learned that in all ways and it's been the biggest and most fruitful lesson i've learned thus far i feel like that lesson in itself has allowed me to grow at the rate in which i am growing Welcome to my desk of orders. So currently I am fulfilling them. I like to pre-label them and then just drop them off at the post office because it makes my life easier. Can you imagine me going in with all these packages and getting them labeled in the post office? Absolutely not. But 
yeah one of my favorite things to do when i'm like <laughs> putting the labels on is to look at the cities um i do ship international internationally but um recently i've been getting a lot of american orders people maybe don't want to pay the shipping right now so it's always interesting to see a new city like okay maybe not that one like orem orem oh please do not make me seem dyslexic o r e m orem right cop play did i say that right no co play which is in pa oh what else do i see i see albuquerque here oh my goodness that's crazy because i used to live there so the fact that i can reach that audience is so crazy <laughs> who else we got Jackson, we got Car Carson, we got Oklahoma, um, Atlanta, I see over here, Miami, I was in Miami a, a month ago, so yeah, but anyway, <laughs> it's always so cool, this one right here, the one that I'm fulfilling right now, this one, this one is... Pasadena Pasadena I've heard I've heard Pasadena in songs Pasadena I don't I can't record the song right now but Pasadena yeah so I'm feeling very very like diverse as in places okay okay um I got Salt Lake City that is insane what who, who ordered for me from Salt Lake Hi, okay, I'm not gonna try that one. I got New York where I am based. Whoop, whoop. So I actually went to bed and then I woke up and I continued filming and working. <laughs> As you can see, the sun is rising. It's probably about five when I started. There's no plan when it comes to getting things done when you don't feel your best. You kind of have to choose what you were going to do in that moment. Are you going to moan, complain, and say that the world hates you? Or are you going to get up and love yourself? This is me choosing to get up and love myself. So I'm fulfilling orders, and I got an order from Rio Rancho. I think this is my first order from Rio Rancho in New Mexico. That is insane. That's insane. <laughs> We keep growing, I love it. And it's crazy because this is just where I am currently, you know, like everything has stages and there's a process in everything. So I'm just flowing with the process. And it also is like six in the morning. So um, yeah, my words aren't like very out there like that. And it looks brighter, but it's deceiving you. It's not as bright as it looks, but anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Let me continue. Cush pee always. I'm trying not to show dresses because I don't want to get sued. I don't know how that works, but... Oh my goodness! Yes! Finish them all. For now, this is what I could get done. I'm going to do some more later, but... Woo! Amazing. I've got all my packages. I'm to go drop them off. One fell. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Ooh. Look at my packages. We are going to the post office. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Sorry, you're fine, you're fine. This is open? Well, I can say that this video is a happy ending in that I was able to get shit done even though I felt sad. <laughs> but my sadness really did not last too long because I do have a method that I use constantly and that is always going back to spirit. I believe when you're going through something, it's 
best to connect to higher power. That always works for me. And when I go to spirit, I just feel so much peace. I just feel gratitude. I feel contentment. I feel happiness. And that in itself gets me through and takes me on to the next day. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching if you got this far. I appreciate you. And we will see each other in my next video. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of this video. Thank you so much. Dropped it all off, good to go. Goodbye. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>